Should you take back a person that left you? If a person left you, there's a reason for that. And you might not be the reason. What if they left you because your values didn't align? Don't take them back because you're better than that. And you should never be anybody's plan B. You guys left each other, even though you are in a very serious, committed relationship, sometimes even with kids, and then you end up back together. That's definitely a different perspective. Okay. So you're going to take me back <laughs> now. Definitely a different perspective because if I myself know that I messed up in the relationship, that I wasn't being maybe present for you and you left because you were tired of my shit. Welcome to Elevate, where we strengthen our relationships so we can elevate our lives. Let's get it. Should you take back a person that left you? Should you take back a person that left you? Absolutely not. Interesting. Um, I think that if a person left you, there's a reason for that. And you might not be the reason. Mm. You might be, but you might not. Um, you might not be the person for them. Because if a person is leaving you, you best believe most of the time they're trying things out with a new person. And if they're coming back to you after they themselves have left you, mm -hmm. it's because that didn't clearly work out. What, and what you if, should never be somebody's plan B. What if they left you because your values didn't align? And let's say you you ended up working on yourself and they they're like, hey, she might have changed. That's definitely a different perspective. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to take me back That's now. Definitely a different perspective because if I myself know that I messed up in the relationship, that I wasn't being maybe present for you and you left because you were tired of my shit, mm -hmm. <laughs> then that's a different story. You know, we need to learn to take accountability for when we're wrong because mm -hmm. we're not always right. If that is the case, then that's, that's a different story. I might take you back knowing that, you know, if I've worked on myself because otherwise we're going to be back at where we started. Now, the, I posted a video on, on Instagram, our new Instagram link is down below. That went viral and there was, let's say, a lot of feminists in the comment section. Mm. So what if you are one of those people that you feel like you are not wrong, but I, I know you were wrong. Like, I know your value, values did not align with mine, but you didn't want to look at it that way. Well, then you, so guys, you, are not, you guys are not meant for each other. <laughs> but what if you go and you work on yourself and then I realize, hey, I'm coming back. I think you're better now. I wouldn't even try to go back to a person who never even understood what they, who never even took accountability. But maybe, wow. maybe, maybe I was just deep in love with you. Like I am now. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I feel like the other person needs to, if they were the one that did wrong in the relationship or were no good in the relationship, they need to first admit and, mm -hmm. and just hold themselves accountable for what they've done wrong and and actively work towards being better mm -hmm. because then otherwise we're going to be back where we started and that's that's no good you're just wasting your time and going in circles with the same person yeah, yeah um but yeah i i don't think that any woman should take any man or or vice versa any man should take any woman back when they themselves chose to leave mm-hmm um, because that means to me, in my opinion, it means that you were not good enough for them and True. that they saw something, they saw something better or that the grass was greener for them in another relationship. And that just says that you're not the person for them. The person who you're right for is not going to leave you to try things with someone else. I kind of disagree N unless if they're leaving you for somebody else, then yeah. But if yeah. they're just leaving you. And they say they're not going with nobody. Maybe that person is just not ready for, for a relationship, which is also fine. Like, But how would you know that? How would you know they're just leaving you and not trying things with someone else? A lot of people I mean, say that, that lie. But that's making... No, let's, let's say we're not lying. Let's say that the scenario is like, I'm leaving because I just... I'm not ready. I can't, I can't deal with it. Because they're not ready for commitment or... They're not ready for commitment. They're, they're not sure what they want in life. And they just... Hey, I think we should go our separate ways so this doesn't end up worse. Mm. And, you know, let let God bring us back together if it's meant to be. That's also a great point. Um, that can happen. 
And I think that is actually a very mature move from the other person mm-hmm. because it's it's acknowledging, hey, I'm not really ready for a steady relationship. I don't want to hurt you. I need I need to leave. Like yeah. I, this needs to be over because I don't want to hurt you. And I think that's a very responsible move from whoever decided yeah. to do that. Um, there's risk with that. I don't think you should be sitting around waiting for this other person. You know, like you should move on with your life. And if yeah. you find someone that is ready for you, go ahead and move on. Yeah, I don't think it should be like, oh, we're I'm leaving you, but you know, wait for me. Wait yeah, for no. Me. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you because um, um, you never know. But if if things happen, you know, and you're you get busy with your life, he gets busy with his life, and then you know. Uh, months down the line years down the line he feels like okay now i'm ready for a committed relationship and you guys are both single and willing to try it again i don't see why not that's definitely not a reason he didn't give or she didn't give enough reason for you not to try it again yeah um, I, I have seen that there are people that let's say are married and then get a divorce whatever it just didn't work out Sometimes they even go with like other people and then many, many, many years down the line, they end up back together. Why, why do you think that happens? I don't know. Um, it would depend on each person, but maybe because things can happen, right? Where maybe you guys met each other very young. You guys were still very immature. You guys didn't have life experience Mm -hmm. and you guys maybe were thinking that this other person is not good enough for you because you're trying to find Mr. Perfect or Miss mm-hmm. Perfect. And then you move on with other people and you realize, wait a minute, I really had it good before. Yeah. But, but I have even seen it where they separate and they have children with with the other person. Obviously, they, they are no longer in a relationship with the first partner. So it's all fair game. But then they kind of leave the second one and then they come back to the first, first one. one. And now they have like two families, but you're back with your first family i don't know that's that's very it's also like hard to say i wouldn't do it because you're not in that scenario and you, and you just don't know how you're gonna feel in that point in that in that moment i say do not take back someone who left you if they left you for someone else no, again, it's not. I don't. I'm not. That's I'm where not I'm talking, coming no, from. No, 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 that's fine. I understand that one. If they're leaving you for somebody else, especially if you're in a relationship, yeah. because you clearly wasn't fulfilling whatever, whatever he wanted or she wanted. So that's why they decided to leave you. I just mean in general, like they, you guys left each other, even though you are in a very serious, committed relationship. Sometimes even with kids, and then you end up back together after having partners in between. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is like what I'm saying. I think, in my opinion, when that happens, is that you guys move on. You guys think that you guys are not good for each other, mm-hmm. but then you move on and you meet. You have life experience and you meet other people, and you realize the first person I was with wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. Like they were really the one for me, and I just decided to move on mm-hmm. because I thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And sometimes you move on and you realize, damn, I had something really good. I feel like that's the only reason why. You would go back to your first yeah. partner after move having moved on and had kids with somebody else. It's is that feeling of I had it so good before. That would be the only thing that would make sense. You know that there's this family, the Ace family. If some of you might know them, some of you might not. They're like a a YouTuber family, very popular. Most of and, you might know them. <laughs> not really. Um, and they They're recently really. they re- they recently got a divorce, and um. On TikTok, I saw a video and the guy was saying like, oh, this is like a publicity stunt, right? And I was like, I don't know if you understand like what having kids and having a marriage Mm -hmm. to just say, hey, let's fake that we're getting divorced to get mad views and put our kids through this. I mean, you got to be super crazy to to do this. Um, And then down the line, we get back together. I'm like, "To, to do that, like, yeah, I think that would be that would be taking it a little too far. I mean, but on that same breath, there, you had a lot of people criticizing Catherine for staying with Austin because a lot of people were saying that Austin was out here cheating mm-hmm. on her and that he wasn't good for her. She just passed in front of the camera. Real life. <laughs> and that she, he wasn't good for her. Um and you can think about what you just said mm-hmm. in that regard as well, because 
it's very easy from the outside to sell, to tell a couple or to tell a, a woman just leave him. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure Catherine, if that was the case, and he was the cheater that a lot of people, you know, accused him of being. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she was very conflicted for a very long time. Yeah. It's a big decision to break your As to how to do that and how how to go about that because she had all her children with him. They were together very young. And that's easier said than done. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you're with someone who doesn't value you, you definitely need to do what's best for you because you only have one life to live, honey. You, You shouldn't be with someone who's not valuing you. And putting you first. Um, but that's definitely easier said than done. Yeah. Especially when there are kids in between. And, you know, you want to go about it in the best way. And it's even harder for people who are in the public eye. Yeah. Especially to, to that scale. Right. It's, it's, it's very easy from the outside to judge someone like that. And, oh, my God, like, what took you so long? But you don't know how she was handling herself at home. You only see whatever they decided to share with the, yeah. with us. Right? So... I don't like to judge people. A yeah. lot of people. She had. A, she got a lot of judgment from women. You know, like, why are you still with him? Yeah, yeah. We have a great supporter of ours, Sylvia, that she commented on one of our TikTok videos. And she was asking us, she's a, a listener of the podcast, how does she forget an ex? Right? Like, how does she move forward? And I figured it will tie into this conversation. Like, should you take an ex back? Uh Maybe don't take him back because you you're trying to get forget him, mm-hmm. which is fine. <laughs> um, How do you forget him? Live your life. Um, try not to be at home by yourself as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Go out, meet people. You can't just be home reminiscing on your relationship with this person. Mm-hmm. Like, grieve the, the amount of time you have to grieve. Like, cry it out. Let it out. Scream and shout, right? Mm-hmm. Do whatever you have to do to get those emotions out of your system. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to suppress them. And again, I'm not a psychologist or counselor or, or therapist. You know, I'm, just, this just is just my up. opinion. Um, don't suppress your emotions because we've all, or some of us have learned that that is not a good thing. Um, but let it out. But don't let that go on for too long. You're great on your own. You don't need someone else. Someone else is supposed to add to how great you are. They're not supposed to complete you. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to feel like you're missing part of you if this person is not with you. If they were just your boyfriend and you guys weren't married, don't grieve him for too long, honey. I give you (laughs) two, three weeks max. (laughs) Well, let's you say know? let's say you know let's say it was a long relationship. I will I would say I think we mentioned it in a previous podcast that, like she said, go out meet new people, and when you're meeting a new person, like try not to bring whatever energy you had with him, or thinking that the new person is just gonna be just like the the, the old one, yes. because that's just like a recipe for failure. Yes, right. Like you you have to be open to right. You're le- you're learning about a new person. So. And I feel like before you jump into any relationship mm-hmm. with a new person, like give yourself some time. Mm-hmm. Don't jump into a new relationship as quickly as possible. Yes, go out with your girlfriends, with friends, right? But not with the intention of hooking up with someone because you're still hurt. You're still vulnerable. You're still in a state where you want someone to like put a Band-Aid on your heart. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to get with someone very quickly because you're hurting. But also it's also not fair for you and that other person. But also don't delay it. Like, don't just sit in your house like, hey, I can't forget this guy. Yeah. And then the next day you do the same thing because it's, it's never going to end. At the end of the day, we're all going to die. And you just, like, need to move forward because yeah. I'm pretty sure he probably moved forward. Yes, absolutely. Don't dwell on something that, on someone who's probably moved on already. Yeah. For too long, you know, like you're human. But it's also easier said than done. Like if you were to leave me, like it's gonna take it's gonna take a little while. <laughs> I'm never leaving while. you, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry you're going through that. Um, I'm sure it's very painful. I know I don't know how old this person is. If you're very young, I'm sure you think this is the end of the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I'm sure you think this is like it for you, but there's so many people in are on earth. Yeah. And today, more than ever, it's so much easier to find someone that maybe meets your goals, you know, yeah. with like online dating. And it's like you're no longer just stuck with the people in your neighborhood if you take it online, you know? Yeah, like you could try dating apps. Yeah. Um, so. That'd be that's interesting. A dating right? app. Isn't that? Like, it's so funny because it's like we never got to experience I that. I remember we did meet on MySpace. So, is that, I mean, it's not a dating app, but we technically met through an app. I've always thought about that. Like, I've always thought in the back of my head, like, how does that feel? Like, for a person who's, like, trying to find someone to just be swiping on pictures, like, yeah. and I don't know what it is, swipe right or left, did they, like, like the way the person looks? It's, that's a very interesting, interesting yeah. space. I mean, I guess we had that. We had, um, damn, what was that? Local hookups. Yeah, but I didn't really... It wasn't, it was kind of like another MySpace. Yeah, I didn't really look at it as like a dating app. Yeah, it was kind of like who's in my area. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if people even met, like, or if it was just, uh. I'm sure people met through there. We were just very young when we got on that. We weren't even supposed to be on Look of Hookups, honestly. (laughs) We were definitely not supposed to be on that website, but we were. (laughs) Um, Um, So, yeah, just don't dwell for too yeah. long or just find try it. hobbies don't, don't. find hobbies that that spark your interest keep yourself busy yeah and no and i would say just try it like going back to the dating apps because a lot of people be like oh no this is kind of like weird like i'm gonna go on a dating app i will say just give it a try like i honestly know. would feel very nervous about mm-hmm. it i would feel very nervous about like finding someone i wouldn't say app. like i want to say swipe and then hey tomorrow we have dinner at 9 p.m. I will say, you know, swipe, start texting, mm-hmm. talk, see see the vibe, yeah, FaceTime. Like, now you can FaceTime. Yeah, true, like, true. FaceTime will be, FaceTime you could tell, like, if you can actually hang out with a person. True. And then, you know, you, you kind of see red flags, green flags, and then go from there. But don't just be like, I'm not doing ref, I'm not doing. Online dating. Online dating. Like, I'm going to meet my guy, but then you don't go out. Yeah. Epic fail. And if you do go out, you don't talk to nobody, like. They're not just gonna. The mailman is not gonna come knock, and you're gonna open. You're gonna be like, oh my. There God. are some people like that that they've been trying to look for someone for the longest, mm-hmm. but they're people that they don't go out anywhere. Yeah, and, and it's trust like, me, when you find this that man person, is not gonna come knocking at your door. <laughs> when you find that person, you will forget him. You will. You will definitely forget him. Oh yeah, one to three. That's, but you have to put yourself out there. But like I said, keep yourself busy. Focus on yourself. Um, really. Um. While you going through this, you know, grieving process of losing this person, um, really analyze what really went wrong in that relationship. What did you not like about this person? What they didn't like about you? Maybe do some Mm self-reflecting. Like, I don't know what was the situation in this case. If maybe you had something to do with him deciding to leave, you only know that. Mm -hmm. Um, But if we have to take some accountability for some of the things, take some accountabilities, work on those things. If you didn't do anything wrong and this person was just not a nice guy, yeah. just, you know, um, reflect on who this person was and why you chose them to be part of your life. Um, why did you accept? Maybe he was a mediocre kind of yeah. guy for you. Why did you accept that? And really focus on moving forward with that knowledge, yeah, right? Yeah. So that you don't repeat the same pattern when you're choosing then as the next guy, or when the next guy comes your way, you know, you you have these red flags already noted in your head. Um, and so what many, are some of the things that you don't want in your life again? And when you start dating, let's say, there's so many little things that you got to be transparent because it's kind of like we said in the past, you got to put everything out there. Because at the end of the day, if you guys are in a, in a date, let's say, getting to know each other, and you say, I never want to cook. And the guy's like, I'm actually looking for Someone a stay-at-home who mom who, who loves cooking. Like, I You already know that if you guys keep pushing that, there's going to come a time that you're going to move in together. And he's going to be like, this woman is not cooking. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to be buying food every day. Yeah. So that's already, it's not going to work. You have to so, be as transparent as possible. Mm-hmm. 
Don't be afraid to be yourself, to say what you think, because the person that is right for you is going to love everything about you, even the things you think that are something that's bad. Yeah. You know, and there are certain things that, yeah, maybe you, you, we know, we know when there are things that are not okay and we need to work on being better at. But something like a woman not seeing herself as the sole person who cooks in her home is something that's important and should be spoken yeah. about because it is a lot of men do see women as the person who does that at, yeah. at the home. And kids too. That's a big thing. Like, hey, and do kids. you want to have one kid? Two kids, right? Three kids. Some like, people want to have a deal eight breaker. Kids. <laughs> so, yeah, right, right. That's so, so, so important. And don't, don't ignore those things because don't sit there saying, you know what? I'm just gonna make this man fall more and more in love yeah. with me, and then he's just gonna forget about that, and he's going to conform, conform to whatever I want to do because we cannot change anyone. Yeah. Don't go into it thinking that, oh no, I'm gonna change this man or this woman. No. If from the moment you met them, you can deal with them just as they are in that moment. If you can deal with them that way and them not evolving, which more likely than not, they will. But if you can deal with them how you met them, then you're good. Yeah. But don't think you're going to go into a relationship and change. It goes both ways, too, because it's like, especially going back to the kids. Like if there's a woman and she's telling you, like, you want she wants kids and like you're not giving her kids. Yeah. Like she's going to go and find somebody who's going to give her kids. Whether that be behind your back or just leaving you. So give her the fucking kids. <laughs> and if you're a woman and you don't want kids, make sure you tell your man who wants a family of five. You know, like that's very, very, very big to, to talk about in the beginning. Like huge. Do you want kids yes. in your life? How many? Yeah. Yeah. Are you willing to be a stay at home mom? Are you not? Do you like to cook? Do you like to clean? I mean, these are all, in my opinion, life skills. But, you know, a lot of just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're going to be a fan of the kitchen. And your man needs to know that. Like, mm-hmm. do not do not try to be a woman that you're not. Yeah. Do not try to paint this picture of, you know, when you first meet this man, you're, like, cooking for him. You're putting the, the plate on the table for him and you're serving him like he's a king. Yeah. And you know in the back of your head you, you, you won't be able to, to sustain that lifestyle for the rest of your life. Like, you're lying yeah. to yourself. I mean, you're you so sabotaging. Even with us, like you was very clear about that. Like you didn't like cooking in the beginning, and I was like, I don't care. There's people that cook. I was fine with it though. Yeah. But now she likes cooking, and I'm like, I'm extra fine with that too. <laughs> so I was fine either way. Like either way, we have enough money to hire a chef. I'm fine. She wants to stay at home and cook. I'm also fine. But we just like I literally remember us discussing this. Like once we move into like a room. In a basement, like we was talking about these we things. We were talking about these things before we moved in. Yeah. Um, I was very, very, I was very clear yeah. all the time. I've always been like a clear person. Like, I don't want you to be surprised by She'd anything. She'd be cooking now. She'd be chefing that shit up. Now, I don't know what to tell you. But now you see that's like a bonus. Yeah. Because it's like, he didn't really, I didn't build that expectation. Like, I didn't, he didn't expect that yeah. from me, you know? Yeah, now I'll just be like, she don't want to cook? I'll be like, all right, what are we ordering? <laughs> it's not like, what yeah. do you mean you don't want to cook? Like, you need but, to cook. Like, you're the woman yeah. of the house. But, you know, it's just something that just, you know, a thought process that just evolved with myself. You know, now I'm more into it. Like, now my kids are bigger. And, you know, it's like, I want to, like, cook things for them. Yeah. And it's like, actually, but it was, I, it was I would my decision. Lot. I would actually be the one cooking a lot in Before, those days. Yeah. Yeah. But I was fine with it, too. I was yeah. like, that's okay. I'll cook for her. When we didn't, yeah. Yeah. When we didn't have any kids, it was mostly him or we were eating out. Yeah. Yeah. I did very little cooking, very yeah. little cooking when I had no kids. And I was fine with it because I was like, I, I was like still serving you. So. Yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. That either is my way. love language. Either way. Acts of service. I still so. cook. I don't have, like, she has a big menu. My menu's small. <laughs> but my menu is the. I've elevated Get us out there. I surpassed his his menu at this point. Definitely. <laughs> but my, my, now he'd be like, oh, my God, what you made was so good. I was like, it was, right? <laughs> my menu was like, we need to figure this out fast. We're all hungry. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally. He's like the fast cook. Whenever I'm like, you know, babe, just make something quick. He's like, he's like the quick meal guy. Yeah. Or quick. breakfast. Breakfast is like your thing. But when it comes to dinner time, I've already passed your level. So to wrap it up here. Forget about that dude. And if an ex comes back to you and you want to, 
Remingle. Just listen to Jessica Vice. Don't take him back. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> Don't take him back because you're better than that and you should never be anybody's plan B. Don't take him back unless you guys have a family and God wants family to be together. So if you got, if you have to work it out for the good of your family, I would of say. Of course, like I always do say. Do what's better for you. Yeah, don't, absolutely. Don't forget about what everybody else is thinking. Do what's better for you and your family. Yes. But know your worth. Know your worth. Do not settle for less. If you know that this man is not doing what he needs to do and he's just over here begging to come back because he doesn't have any other option, know your worth. Yeah. It's, not, it's not worth you being next to someone who doesn't see the value in you. Yeah. That's it for today's podcast, you guys. Until next time. Peace.